the Lakers starting five. The big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point. LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spots. Marc Gasol is out there with Malik Monk. And for Detroit, Bay and Grant make up the forward pair. Cunningham is out there with Hayes. And it's Olenek in at the five. Detroit will get the first possession. Here's Cunningham. Pounded by Westbrook. Pass to Graham. Now here's Hayes. Six to shoot. Beyond the arc. Davis with a rebound. Outside Monk. Down low. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Monk. And I'll tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Bay passes to Olenek. Here's Cunningham. The shot won't fall. And Los Angeles the other way now. Like a lot of young players, B.A., it took Monk some time to get going, but he's found his stride in the NBA now. Counted from distance. Malik Monk. Well, we know what a skilled passer Westbrook is, but you still got to appreciate that dime there. Very impressive. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Cunningham. Oh, and he got Michael fouled on his way Monk. up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Westbrook. You know, Clark, with Malik Monk, you can see the improvement. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Grant. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. Three out of three. Perfect start. Let's see how long they can ride this wave. Hayes with it. Pass to Cunningham. Gasol grabs the board. Coach loves the execution, just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. And, and this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Here's Cunningham, pounded by Westbrook. 10 feet away. And it's Cunningham missing. The Lakers have gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. Westbrook outside. Tries a 10-footer. He can't get that one to fall. And Detroit will go the other way with it. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And the foul on Anthony Los Davis. That's his first foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. First personal foul. Team second. Lincoln substitution. And we've got 118 left in the opening quarter. Diallo finds Hayes. Shot clock at five. From deep. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. To the paint. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist from James. Westbrook. And another great assist. The offense is really Two clicking now. And you know, the defense has really been Two kept off balance minutes. because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Jackson outside. Here's Olenek. The shot, no good. Davis with the defensive effort. Westbrook outside. Count it. They're 
they're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Yeah, and you know, as LeBron continues his illustrious, remarkable career, the question seems unavoidable. It's inevitable. Him or MJ, the greatest of all time. For me, it's a matter of what flavor you like. You can't go wrong with either one. Personally, I know Jordan's got the way, but I love what LeBron has done longevity-wise. Titles are not the only measure for greatness in a team sport. So LeBron would get my nod just by an edge, a whisker, if I had here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Jackson against Monk. Here's Davis. The rebound by Stewart. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Here's Hayes. Rebound, the Lakers. And Gasol with the block. You really got to admire the reach of Gasol. He's excellent at utilizing those long arms of his to turn away shots. Yes, it's good. Yes. Really yes. starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Grant finds Hayes. Back to Grant. Oh, Grant throws it down. You know what? When you allow Grant to get close to the rim, you risk seeing him give you a face right in your grill. I mean, tremendous athleticism from the Syracuse alone. Westbrook outside. Pass to James. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. James has got six. Well, this is how effective LeBron is in close. Just takes his time, never in a rush, and exploits holes in the defense. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. The Lakers came ready to play. Near flawless execution from both the defensive and offensive areas of their game triggered a 12-2 run to start things off. By the end of the first quarter, their lead was in double digits. The last part of the second quarter went very well for them, continuing the offensive pressure and maintaining some tough defense as they closed out the half with a big 11-3 run. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently execute. Most of their shots that come in the flow of the offense, rarely did they take a bad shot. Good, clean first half. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Detroit? They really need to focus on finding quality shots. If they can't create for themselves in the second half, things will only get worse. And I'm talking about the high percentage looks, not contested threes. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Boy, you gotta like what Russell Westbrook has done in this game. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often, but in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. Inside, Grant and Olenek. Hayes is out there with Cunningham. And it's Bay in at the three slot. That's the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the Pistons. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. 
I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Alec, no question. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense, positioning himself well to send it back. Knocked away. Detroit with the ball. Pass to Hayes. Five to shoot. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's Olenek with a jam. Oh. The pass, oh. the catch, the slam. What a clean play. That absolutely jaw-dropping. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. For the Pistons, Dumboy has checked in for Grant. And Diallo subbed in for Hayes. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Gasol. Ariza comes in for Anthony Davis. Bazemore's checked in for Monk. And none is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Off a hot feed right there, LeBron. The Pistons have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Jackson down low. Monk covers. And he stays with it. Here's Joseph. Jackson outside. Five on the clock. Remaining in the game. Jackson outside. Takes the three. Rebound, the Lakers. Gasol's got four rebounds now. Monk passes to Westbrook. Anthony outside. Pass to Gasol. And he's going for the oop here. Gasol is one of the best passers in the league. I mean, in his position, there aren't many better. Excellent at scanning the floor and finding the open man. Here's Jackson. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. Los Angeles has gone three of four from distance in this game. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Lakers. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the Westbrook. kind of... That free throw, good from Davis. You know, in this 21st century version of the NBA, just being big is not enough. Davis personifies the evolution of the big guy. He's got game from everywhere on the floor. Diallo passes to Jackson. There's the drive. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. The Lakers dominating the game. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Here's Horton Tucker. Misses in close. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. To the middle. The shot by Dumboya, no good. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Pass to Davis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Anthony Davis. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something. I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. So long and good night, everyone.